In this session, I'm going to show you a demonstration for smartphone to TV. What do we mean smartphone to TV? For example, this is a window mobile smartphone from HTC. By loading a software called smartphone to TV from Windows Marketplace. Then, also, if you have a device like this one called Mobi Show, and then you connect to your TV through VGA or HDMI port. After that, I launch the application, click, you can see there are four functions. The first one is called screen projection. So right now you see my screen is duplicated to the TV set through wireless network, so there is no wire. Okay. From this point on, I can leave this somewhere and then start to use the mouse attached to this smartphone to TV box to control my smartphone like this. So for example, if I open this game, so you can actually play this kind of game. Or if I switch to the Fire Explorer, of course, you can open any photos you have stored in your smartphone and then use the big screen to share to your friends and family. Okay, so this is actually uh, a very interesting new application which nowadays smartphones are so powerful. The only thing limited is the small screen and uh, you know like this one there is no keyboard at all. But using our technology to transmit your screen wirelessly to a device which can connect to a much bigger monitor or TV and also you can connect to standard mouse keyboard so that you can remote your smartphone like the way I, I showed. So this is the first function called uh, screen projection for our smartphone to TV design. The second function is for photo viewing. So although I showed you some photo application, but it is too small. So by enabling an individual function called photo sender, then you see the photo is shown in full screen on the TV side, while my smartphone become a remote control, so that I can go to next photo uh, I just hit play button that's easier okay so now you can put this anywhere in your pocket on the desk wherever and then it will do slideshow isn't that nice to show to your family and friends for the photo that you shoot on the road using a much bigger display Okay, so this is uh, the second function called photo sender. The third function is called video sender. So from the UI of our application software, I open it and then, for example, I choose a DVD file, like this one, Madagascar. So right now he's sending the video file piece by piece to the device and the device will decode the video and output to the TV screen. And again, my smartphone become a remote control. So for example, I can pause it, resume it, resume it volume up, mute, and resume. So again, Smartphone is so powerful and the internal memory is so big so that even you can copy an entire video file into your smartphone. And through smartphone to TV device, you can connect through Wi-Fi and share all the video and even music content from your smart smartphone wirelessly to a smartphone to TV device. So this is so called a, a media center function which includes video and music. 
So let's get back to the main screen. I'm going to show you the fourth function called presentation to go, PTG. By selecting this function, and you select a pre-converted PowerPoint file, store to the internal uh, memory or a SD card. Now you are seeing a full screen PowerPoint uh, image file, image presented to this big screen TV, where again my smartphone become a remote control so that I can click next item to show next page, next page, next page. And one thing special about our technology is we actually will also convert the animation effect from your original PowerPoint file to this special uh, format called PTG file. So again, I click on next, you see the animation. Click on next, again, you see the animation. And also, you see the transition effect for from one page to another page. So through this rev revolution technology, no longer your PowerPoint presentation is limited to this tiny screen. We convert your PowerPoint file using a PC ut utility to a PTG file. After that, you copy the PTG file to your smartphone and then you are ready to go. You will be able to do all kinds of pro professional PowerPoint presentation to your clients. Isn't that nice to have a smartphone as one of your gear? Same thing. Now I've demonstrated this window mobile phone. And AWIN also has iPhone implementation. So let me switch to my iPhone. First, I want to show you in iPhone there are two functions in enabled. One is PTG. So again, I'm going to select a PTG file from this iPhone. And then I click on next item. So we will jump to next, just like the window mobile phone. So again, you see the animation. And it's waiting for me to click on next to show the next animation. Click on next to show the transition effect. All of these are identical to the original PowerPoint. Okay, so that's PTG on iPhone. And the user interface for the iPhone implementation is a little different from the window mobile phone. So from here, I can also select a media center function then I'm going to choose a different movie like this one, 101 Firework, Taipei 101. Okay. So right now it's again streaming the Taipei 101 video file from my iPhone to the smartphone to TV device and decode it by the device to be shown on the TV screen. Of course I can mute it, demute it, I can Pause it, play it again. Of course, I can fast forward and rewind. Okay. So the reason why we did not enable remote desktop function is that unless this iPhone is jailbroken, otherwise our application will be will be uh, quit if you switch to other application, that's the limitation of FIFO. We're kind of hoping if Apple can open that interface to allow remote desktop experience.